Hey guys, Jamie today on Roblox, we're playing some more Monsters of VP as you can see on the screen right now. Also in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock the Kitsakura, which also you have to unlock by sometimes found hiding in Sakura trees. So for this one, I feel like it's like the honey trees where you had just had to go up to them and headbutt them. I only know of one location, which is in the maze or the stone mage. So we're going to spawn in with something with headbutt. I would suggest Umbris just for the fact that you can just fly over the walls and you don't have to go through the maze, even though you can zoom out far enough to actually see. But plus Umbris spawns right here anyway. So pretty much what you want to do also is just spawn in with anything, anything with headbutt. And all you got to do is come up to these pink trees over here and use headbutt. And there is it does say a chance, so it might not be first time. I got my first time, which I will gladly take. But that is how to get Kitsuka Kitsakura. I also have no idea how to pronounce it, but there's my best attempt. So apparently for this one, I don't know if it's for this one or the other new one that they added in, which I'll do a video on that, which is fairly simple. But um I think apparently there's meant to be different versions versions of it, which uh, yeah you can see here that there is the Azuna and the oh there's different evolutions of mutations. So there's two mutations and they'll both look different. So I guess we'll hop in and see exactly what to do. So just get to level four today time or four tonight time. So fairly easy. Not really. I, I might as well just use a quick um, a voucher just to show that off. I guess where is it? Max voucher and get rid of that so also now we can evolve into the nighttime one so also i think the nighttime one is blue and i think the daytime one is red pinkish sort of colors but there is that so fairly cool unfortunately i can't make it go to daytime i don't have any commands for that at least i don't think i do um so pretty much its tail bud occasionally shines due to the light it stores within within it when it absorbs more light the bud slowly begins to open to bloom a sign that kisakura is close to mutating so also uh, you got the violet one which is for night rose for day which i'm guessing the rose one is probably um pink yeah i mean it would make sense for rose but also light psychic when it's uh, violet form light ghost so i'm guessing the rose form is probably going to stay light psychic i can't really see it changing from that also got bloom cover or cover even this monster takes less damage from fire type attacks but more damage from grass type attacks i don't really think that should be a thing but okay solar absorption attacks deal slightly more damage in the day but slightly less damage at night so that one's i guess fine what about the violet so this one has solar emission attacks deal slightly more damage at night but slightly less damage in the day so these are going to be very situational to be honest as we can see we have a bit new base that totals the game actually has been like stat stat wise so far they work on the attack system versions i think this is version one or at least the first wave of their new attack system and i think in this wave of their updates they've changed the stats on everything apparently there's a new quickest monster which i'll uh, probably end up doing i'm not really too sure it is i am just waiting for a day to show off the uh rose farm because i'm curious about what its stats are and if, even if it's typing changes but that's pretty much how to get kitsakura and also you just have to level it up and then depending on if it's day or night you get to evolve into rose or the violet farm so i'm guessing the um rose is just the exact same just that everything's flipped so the rose will have i i would assume um 105 attack and 50 defense and then 70 energy and 60 resistance i actually have no idea but that is what i would assume at the very least so i guess i gotta wait for this so i guess we'll be back once ever it's daytime okay then and we are back then so it is now daytime so we can now change into the rose farm which actually is pink kind of like a red pink it's kind of why i would imagine so anyway i'm gonna quickly go and show off the stats really quickly so, oh, now we can't check out the violet form. So we just had to wait for day to actually even look at the stats. I don't think that should be a thing. I feel like the stats you should just be able to check whenever, but 105, yeah, it looks like it did the exact same thing that I did say, the attack and resistance. Uh, well, the offensive and defensive stats just swapped around. But anyway, able to, oh, actually it's light and fire. I didn't even realize that. So that's interesting. So it goes from light psychic to light fire. Or a light ghost. That's actually really interesting. Also, it looks like Wolf Dragon animated them. And Quick Tiger actually is the behind the ideas and the model. So fairly cool. 
a little Q Fox style thing, so pretty cool. Able to defect infrared light. Azun's rose rose form is able to locate others oh, all the living creatures by seeing their heat signature. It can set things near it ablaze by converting light energy directly into thermal energy. So fairly cool. So also this one has solar and also attack will deal more damage in the day but less at the night. So very interesting. But that is pretty much how to get Kisakura and also the differences between the mutations and exactly how to get them, although the evolutions or the mutations even are fairly simple to get. It's just that I was curious about the stats, especially now that there are new stats in the game. Also, they've completely changed up every monster's stats from what I've heard. Apparently, there might be a couple that are just the same. I don't really know. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.